Okay, today is maintenance day. Gonna change the fuel filters on the 2020 Super Duty Platinum. And so I've got the filter that goes inside the engine bay. And I got the filter that goes underneath. Currently I'm just draining that. I bought Ford OEM parts. Bought it from Ford and in Canada here, it cost me um, $141.82 for the two filters. It's FD4614. Got to do the maintenance, do it myself, save some money there. And never done it before, but I think it's uh, pretty straightforward. So uh, we will give it a whirl here. And uh, I'm currently draining. Let's see, I'm draining it right there. I undid the plug and take it a while to drain. And then up here, got a nice stand because struts are all so high. Uh, there's the fuel filter, no big deal. Just got to watch the clips so you get them off without uh, breaking them so just got to take the time and then I'm also gonna change or not change I'm gonna clean the air filter it hasn't um, the indicator hasn't shown anything but I'm gonna just open it up clean it out give it a blow with the air compressor and I guess you have to undo it up here or pull this whole piece off to get get this out so a little bit of a hassle, but shouldn't be too big a deal. Yeah, I don't know how well you can see that, but uh, the clips come off really easy. This one is a little bit of trouble. Had to, uh, you can see that very well. Just had to help it with the screwdriver, little screwdriver, and uh, popped it off. Nice to have a rag because it drips fuel. And so it should just pop up, turn it, there we go. Oh, it's still fuel in it. So that's that one. Oh yeah, and it's spilling fuel all over. So watch how you handle it. Okay, new one goes in the slot. And you just have to wiggle it in and then Turn it. There, just really easy to go into place. Make sure you. Get your uh, lines on correctly. Oops. Your tabs are out. Whoops, keeps wanna want to push it back in. There we go. Pull it on, pull, make sure it's latched. Okay, that's there. That was massive. A little bit of fuel spilt all over, so we'll let that evaporate. Uh, yeah, so that's really easy. Too bad it wasn't that way for, that was the only thing you had to do was that filter. That would have been pretty great. Anyway, it is what it is. So that's a real easy job. Make sure the lines are on there good. The tabs are locked in. Everything looks good. So we'll just, uh, when we, Start it up. We'll we'll uh, check for leaks. So that's super easy. No tools required. Thought I had to take and do a few bolts that I saw under there, but it's just the housing. So no tools required. So that's pretty awesome. I'll know for next time. Anyway, that's the that's the fill filter. 
guess I'll take it to a lube shop, drop it off so it's disposed of properly. So that's the old fuel filter from the engine bay. Okay. Whoop. Oh, shit. Okay. So it is, it leaks from some of the other parts. Careful how you handle it. Uh, we'll get working on the one underneath. Okay, it's still draining. I filled the tank up, so hopefully I'm not going to drain my whole tank. Um, but it uh, seems to be slowing down, so that's good. And that yellow knob that you turn to uh, drain it is the same one you would turn to get rid of any water that's in your fuel. If you get a light that comes on the dash. And the other reason I'm doing this is because I bought the truck used and I don't know when it was last changed. So I would, I just want to change them so that I know they're fresh and then I'll make sure that I do them on the proper intervals. And to get the filter off, you need an eight millimeter. And uh, what I like to do with anything like this, I'll just crack the, the nuts with, my, um, with a wrench. And then I'll use this handy drill with an adapter to go to a quarter inch socket. And uh, it works great. It doesn't have a lot of torque, so it can't uh, loosen it. I guess I don't need the extension. But it just makes it easy to... Yeah, they don't come out, I guess they just stay. So maybe... Maybe they're not that tight. Oh yeah, I don't need to loose them first. It's pretty nice. Okay, that took forever to, to uh, come out, maybe five minutes more, oh. so it snaps out, okay, snaps out easy like they say okay, that's that's it there's uh, the tabs oh, fuel oil. so you just have to change the gasket sorry for the crappy angle okay I need my trusty little screwdriver to get the to get the gasket out use a little screwdriver like this more than any other tool gasket comes out new gasket goes in the gasket comes with it of course and this fits in nicely in the slot nice snug fit Okay, look how much fuel came out of there. That's a ton of fuel. Just a fuel alone, that's probably 30 bucks right there. Add $30 to your fuel change just for the amount of fuel that's, I guess, wasted now. That's kind of unfortunate. I need a, something that I don't care about that runs on diesel. I wonder if my lawnmower, well, that'll do to that. Anyway, that's, again, 
ton of fuel that comes out when you do this. So that's why it takes so long. Okay, just about got everything apart. This was a pain to get off. I had to try and figure out how it worked. Anyway, it just pulls up the white part, goes in like this. It's for the uh, map air sensor. And it just pulls up. So I thought it was a push button. No, it's not. It's a pull it up. It goes like that. Anyway. Let's see. Now we can get this off. There we go. That wasn't too bad. And the filter. Oh yeah, there's some thread there. It's like a mouse was making a nest. So I'll just blow all that off. Yeah, it's dirty, but it's not even close to setting off the filter alarm. So I'll just clean it up. And uh, I got an air compressor. Got a little bit more life out of it. I guess the dirty it gets, the more it filters. To a point, I guess. Okay, got the filter cleaned. It's, uh, yeah, you can see it looks pretty good. A lot better than before. I use an air compressor, like I said, to blow it out, but I blow from the intake side, or no, the engine side going out, so it's opposite. So the direction that the air comes in, that's it's filtering. I'm blowing it this way through, back through the filter. And I got a bit of dust out of there. Um, so it was a little dusty, but not bad considering how dirty the compartment is here. As you can see, the focus cleaned up nice. Just took the shot back, cleaned it up. It's about as good as you can get. And filter's ready to go back in. So let's put it in the same way. So it came out. Yeah. I'll put it in the other way. I think it goes like this. No, I see. It goes where this foam is here. That was this side so I'm gonna flip it and go this side opposite way tab out of the way there you go serviced filter not replaced but serviced so I think that's that's it I'll, I'll put it all back together and Start it up. You got to push the button without your foot on the brake about seven times to prime the fuel because you saw how much fuel came out. Got to prime that back in. And um, then I guess you can hear it, it gurgles till it's full. So I'll wait and listen for that and then uh, start it up. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.